In this video, we'll go over our WinForms pivot grid. I'll add it to a project and customize some features. I've already got a project open. I'll add a pivot grid from the toolbox. Click on the smart tag and dock it to the parent container. Now let's bind the control to data. Click the smart tag and bring up the item source wizard. Select database as a data source type, then create a new connection and change the data source type to Microsoft SQL Server. I've already created a local connection. I'll use a local SQL Server and select the Northwind database. Now go ahead and choose the invoices table. Select the salesperson view and seven columns. Country, product name, category name, order date, quantity, extended price, and salesperson. Then click finish. Open the wizard again and select the newly created data source. Then, select Simple Binding to bind the control to a plain collection of data objects and click Next and then Finish. Let's retrieve some fields. Click the Smart tag and run the designer. Then click the Retrieve Fields button. The fields for all data source columns are automatically created. Let's run the application and take a look. The pivot grid displays all fields at the top in the filter area. To populate the pivot grid with data, drag the category name field to the row area, country to the column area, and extended price to the data area. And here's a basic report that shows the total number of orders by country and category of products. The pivot grid control calculates data summaries instantly regardless of the operation. To create a new report, just add new fields to the required areas. And now you get a more detailed report about the number of orders. You can also change the field's orders as well. The row area has two fields, category name and product name. So values that represent products are grouped by category. You can collapse these groups to only see total values for the categories or expand them when you need more details. You can sort field values in ascending or descending order by clicking the field header. You can also sort them according to values in a specific row or column. To do this, right click the header of this column or row and select the field you want sorted. To reset sorting, click the header again and select remove all sorting. To filter field values, click the filter button in the corresponding field header. Now only select some items and click OK. To cancel filtering, check the show all items and click OK. End users can also filter using the pivot grid pre-filter. Right click and choose pre-filter. Let's add a new criteria. You'll need to choose a field, a condition, and then enter a value. Let's show only products with names starting with C. Note that after I apply the pre-filter, the pre-filter panel appears. You can use this panel to temporarily disable the criteria or make changes to the edit. To clear the pre-filter, use the clear pre-filter button. Next, let's see how to customize the default layout by rearranging fields in the specific areas at design time. First, drag and drop the category name and product name fields into the row area. Then, put the extended price and quantity fields into the data area. Finally, put the order date field into the column area. There's no need to display hold dates in the order date field, so click the smart tag and change the fields caption to year and set the group interval property to date year to display only years. Let's create one more date field. Click the pivot grid smart tag and add a field to the column area. Now click the field smart tag and bind the field to the order date column. Change the fields caption to quarter. 
Go to the Properties window and set the Group Interval property to Date Quarter. You can also customize a value format by setting the Value Format property. To trim the caption, click the Field Smart tag and specify the caption property. Here I'm setting new captions for the product name, category name, and extended price fields. And if we run it again, we'll see that the pivot grid has a nice layout with predefined fields. The column field values are combined into year and quarter group intervals. Let's make the quantity field calculate the average function against the underlying data instead of the sum. Set the summary type property to average. Specify the cell format as F0 and change the field's caption. Now when we run the application again, you'll see that the respective data cells show average size orders rounded to whole numbers. Now let's go back to Visual Studio and create a new group. I'll bring up the designer again, go to the Groups page, and click the plus button to add a new group. And let's add some fields. Select the category field and click the add field button. Then add the product field as well. Let's run the application again and take a look. Here's the group we created. You can see that the category and product fields are connected. The first field and the group displays the Expand and Collapse button. You can use it to expand or collapse other fields. When a field is collapsed, its detail values are not displayed. When a group of fields are being dragged, it's moved as one. Group fields are filtered in a single pop-up with an intuitive tree-like interface. Pivot Grid allows you to limit the number of field values to a specific number of topmost values. To do this, use the Top End Values feature. Select the Product Name field and set the Top Value Count property to 5. This means that only the top 5 field values are displayed. And when we run the application, you can see that the best 5 field values are displayed. To show the worst 5, just change the sort order. Now let's go to the Properties window of the Pivot Grid and go over some properties. The Pivot Grid provides an advanced customization form used to reorder and hide fields, sort and filter data, and so on. To change a view of the field list and display an advanced one, set the Customization Form Style property to Excel 2007. And let's run the app one last time and take a look. To bring up the Customization Form, Use the Header Area Context menu. This customization form allows you to show and hide fields. You have full control over the Pivot Grid's layout. To hide the field, drag the field and drop it into the Hidden Fields section. You can move fields between area sections of the field list as well. Now you get a report where countries are grouped by years. In the same way, you can reorder fields. And you have a report where years are grouped by countries. To hide a field, you can move it from the Pivot Grid layout to the Hidden Fields section as well. To show the field, drop it into the required area. And that's it! If you want to learn more, check out our documentation at our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.